We are reading verse 104 from Vilapa Kosmanjali. It's a special verse because it's the last prayer of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. And it has a very special feeling to it. Oh, Pranaya Shalini, abode of pure love. Thus, I am loudly crying, desiring to attain your mature, loving service. Holding your lotus feet to my heart, which is burning out of intense agony. I am offering these lamentations to them as a bouquet of flowers. May they be the cause of even the slightest satisfaction to you. O oh, Pranaya Shalini, abode of pure love. This is a very, very intimate name, Pranaya Shalini. Pranay is this very deep connection between lover and beloved that even when one touches the body of the of the beloved one feels as if one is touching the own body pranai this is vishrambhava means it is very personal and confidential relationship so with this address which is completely in Siddha Deha. Tulsi Manjari is praying with a crying voice to Swamini. This crying is whining, it's weeping. It's not. It's not a sorrowful, like a sad. It's a deep desire for Sakshat Darshan. The immediate, immediate, she wants to pray to Swamini, can I please see you and serve you right now? Loudly. Crying. And holding lotus feet to my heart. Tulsi Manjari has served Swamini in her prayer so many times. And her most, dear most service is that she's holding or Charan Seva, she's holding Shimati Radhika's lotus feet on her heart. Why? Because the heart is burning. It is hot in her heart. What is so hot? It's her love. It's her desire. She feels that she is burning inside, full of eagerness. And only the lotus feet of Shimati Radhika can cool her burning heart. So she feels that, please accept my prayers because I am ready to be in your eternal service now. She's expressing this and that she wants to satisfy Swamini. And this is very special in the few verses or, or the few uh, paragraphs which are coming now 
she is uh, again and again uh, desiring to attain Shrimati Radhika's mature loving service. So this word mature, I was trying to meditate. What is the meaning of mature? Yesterday, we were also hearing very nicely from Kishori Priyadidi, how is mature and immature? How is the difference between ripe and not ripe? Notes. Humbly, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami takes shelter of Swamini's lotus feet for the fulfillment of his desires. Oh, Swamini, what more can I say? I have no more words left, nor do I have the power to utter any. You can give me your mercy or not. I believe that you are the abode of pure love. He is so much um, absorbed in his desire to be in direct service that even if Swamini says no, he will not stop continuing to offer his prayers. And he says, love for Swama Sundara, love for your girlfriends, love for your maidservants. You are Prema Mai, you instantly take those who love you to you. Swamini, I know you will take me one day when you are satisfied. And I promise you, I will make you happy and your beloved. I want your mature service. Now I have meditated so many times. Again and again, I'm in touch with you and you are giving me services. Swamini, let me come to you forever now. You love everyone. You make everyone happy. And if you have any little service, any little feeling for me, please take me to you. So that is one mood. We know this mood of separation and wanting to come in contact. At the same time, which is also amazing, it is now a switch. And now Tulsi Manjari is speaking. It's not that I need you so much. But you will also need me many times. You know I'm a re reliable person, Swamini. I'm your shadow. I'm always with you. And you need me. When there are certain situations, then I can be of use. Please use me in these certain situations, Swamini. This loving maidservant keep the firm hope in her heart that Pranaya Shalini Swamini will once give her her mature loving service. So mature loving service. Mature means reliable. Mature means also authorized by the master. Rupa Manjari has authorized me. She is my very good friend. She has given me the hope that I can be your maid, maidservant one of these beautiful times, one of these days, one of these days in eternity with you, Swami. And this mature also means I'm one pointed on you, Swamini. I've been tested 
you know, I've been through fire for you. I wanted to jump from Govardhan Hill, but your manjaris picked me up. They saved me. Because they saw something, some value in my services for you. They wanted me to be with you and serve you, your, your Lavanda Manjari and your Rupa Manjari. They have helped me so much. So now, Swamini, I have matured by their, by their helping, by their love, by their guidance. What have I learned from them, Swamini? I have learned to listen. They have told me about your glories, about the beauty of your service. And they have also taught me to listen to these words which have not been spoken, Swamini. May I serve you when you need me? And you will need me, Swamini. It's not only that I need you, Swamini, because I feel you now, Swamini. We have become very close. We have, I am your shadow. I'm so close with you. I can feel what you desire and what is needed in any situation. Now I have gone through the fire of all my purifications, of all the tests and all the different circumstances. I know now how you feel, Swamini. Please give me the chance to serve you in the moments when you need me most. Ha oh, Swamini, taking this bouquet of lamentations to my anxious heart, I offer them now to your lotus feet. I have been collecting flowers Swamini, I have made a garland of all my desires, and these desires are nothing else but your service. How to braid your hair, how to put your lipstick, how to put the ornaments that will remind you of your beloved. And to do everything in such a way that your meditation and your feelings will be deepened by it. That is my desire, Swamini. I don't do it for myself. I want to do it for the pleasure of your heart and to make you remember and to make you forget if you want to forget. I will do as you like. And although this maidservant is unworthy, she cannot give up hoping. She knows that she is helpless. And she is fully dependent on the well wishing recommendation of Rupa Manjari and Ananda Manjari. Hmm. Now I have one, one thing I think is very important when we speak about ripe, we say ripe. Uh, one thing is very needed when we speak about this ripe, we have to be clear who is the goal. If we, That is the point that Gurudev many times make. Guru is not the goal. And here we can see that uh, Tulsi Manjari makes, makes it clear who is the goal? He, 
she is always clear, fixed in that goal to make Swamini happy, to go in service of Swamini. This we have to understand. If we don't understand this point, we are not ripe. We are greenhorns. Not, not reddish, more green. Because then we take shelter on a, in a temporary lifetime. And only our service to Swamini is eternal. This is the need. And this last verse, you say, so it's so nice that she offer this lamentation as a bouquet of flowers. May they be the cause of even the slightest satisfaction to you, to Swamini. And this we have to understand. If this is the last word, the last two words is to you. In this last, we uh, have this here, absatz. Paragraph. In the last paragraph, it is so clear. It's not, so the last two words in this whole book actually is to you, to you, Swamini. This I think we have to understand, and Guru Davis. Now the last lectures since months he make always this point because if we don't get this point then we cannot be this sweet mango we like to become. Hmm? Beautiful, beautiful, very. This is very like this. And we go deep to realize one is information and one is realization. Information is also important, but most beautiful when we realize that one day Suniti is telling dive in the ocean. Jaiho, and like Gauravani said, you provide us the oxygen, Gurudev. Yeah. You are giving us all the facilities so we can go deeper and deeper and we don't lose our breath. Our Guru Manjali is our Marjans. All they have been, because they all have been. I saw mm. You make us mature, Gurudev. Yeah. That is my realization. Point more. Maturity will come when we are fixed in Swami and fixed in a side of in my Sarupa with us, I promise. I don't deviate from any circumstances. Any honey, any chocolate, any lollipop will come, I will not deviate from, from my side. This too has to be fixed. Everything will be fixed. Because we move from material to spiritual. Our vision become become divine because of the changing my body.
And mature good if also means that I have practiced it a lot of times. I'm practicing. I every morning I I try to reach out to you. If I cannot remember you in my dreams, then at least let me connect with Only you in my family, not other, not human. Only Swami and Sarupa is only Swami and Sarupa is. And see the Sarupa ways of our Guru Mahindiris. Narayan Maharaj very clearly ex explained that. One devotee asked, I love very much Prabhupada. He not Raghavati. He said, No, this is my demon. If you don't know the sarup of the Guru, and you don't meditate in that, it's just by the way. Like this, maybe I don't remember line. This is a hidden part of devotion, Guru. When they were speaking with Narayan Maharaj about when they love Prabhupada and they follow all his desires, especially preaching, is that also not some kind of love without any fear? And he said, that is very good. But when you know who is your Gurudev, when he has told you, I am this and that mandri, and not only told you if he has revealed this, to you like your service and all these different details, then you can say that you have a relationship which is in Raganuga. Yeah. To be Manjari is the same as to be son or daughter in this life. We are fully identified in our family position, right, Gurdjieff? So, for example, you are a father. So, in a, in a material way, you identified your father because you are a father. So, it is. It's natural. And in the same way, we can be Manjari. If we feel this and we, what you say, we signed, uh, underline this contract, fully, then we, we are this. Right. By, by initiation, you give family name. Yes. And initiation this. means also this. Initiate yeah. spirituality. Initiate, I initiate you how to grow in spirituality. How no. to come out from bodily consciousness to divine consciousness. Mm. And this divine consciousness takes time to come. Mm. When we come to the soul consciousness, then very easy to go on faster to know the my source, my savior. My lover. But from the body and senses and false ego, how to come out, clutch from them to go. And that is only to take the shelter in the lotus feet of Radhika is the only way. And what I can feel good if by initiation, at that moment, we accept your initiation. We say 100%, not, not 99. <laughs> then it's there. So at, the, at that moment, we, we are not we like to be. Wow. 
माय गुरुदेव एट द टाइम ऑफ इनिशिएशन यू ब्रिंग मी एंड ऑफर टू सर्विस ऑफ प्रातम या फ्रॉम हिज ओन हैंड या ही इज गिविंग मंत्रा एंड आई एम लुकिंग दिस What are you looking over there? Can you explain? I look with my hand like this to me, and he is walking up the stairs. You see that the stairs so small. I see he is walking with me, and I am in his hand. I am looking itself that, and he walk and bring, and he is a very old and this, but I am like a flower. to his hand and he bringing and he enter with the wooden this he stayed inside and he bring me and put in the lotus feet of radha ma i am giving you new seven from now wow so he put you there in sita roop gurudev yeah wow I see. From that day, I was going out to temple and katha and kirtan. I stopped going in other places. Mm. <laughs> you find home, Gurudev. You find your place. Wow! This is happen in my initiation. Wow! wow. Beautiful. powerful so some mercy can give this mercy special mercy we have this lotus feet of samne then a five of cups what is my direction If not, then go be how I will stay. In soul consciousness, yeah. Go be woman. Only Krishna, I know that. Wow. So easy and so simple, but which is the which place from the Chaitanya was? I mean, consciousness. When I come to my soul, we are become conscious. And this consciousness gives a clean vision. Divine Chakudan, hello, Jay. That divine vision, our automatic start feeling and realization start flowing inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Surprise happening. Mm -hmm. That's it. surprise never i think what that is happening <laughs> is it the life <laughs> divine way of life this you share with us gurudev this is our great yes this clip Fortune. Fortune. What reading today? My Ma Baba, what we are reading morning time? What fifty six or fifty fifty five or fifty five or something? And it was 
my gunas, mm. even the tattoo guna, bring to keep I was myself in the influence of false ego. Mm. <laughs> sure. Now, Samuguna Raju, yeah. they are the brother and sister, false ego. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. And the loving reason is the way to go to Saru. <laughs> Fifty huh? six. Loving nature makes us is easy to flow in the service in the saru to some loving all place, all circumstances. When we ready to be a loving. Yeah. That loving is she is the giver of love. Nature comes in life first. Yes. I offer this prayer at your lotus feet. Let me be your maidservant, ah, mature that, in my love. Yes, mature. God has said mature. Totally mature, fixed in you. And by your help, I can sit in myself. When I will fix in myself, in you, in your lotus, this maturity will come. By her grace, she need also to Medservant, she will accept by her mark. She will mark us. No, I can. That love will so much grow that one day, who is not talking to me, my deity, now he starts talking and telling me what to do and what not to do. He gives the feeling when I go to the front, he saves me from distance also. Because my mind is covered and my feelings are covered, so he is not talking. I don't listen, stone cannot listen. When it becomes soft, I start listening there. I start feeling. That is marked. Marked. <laughs> she marked me. Then she started. Yeah. You let <clears throat> you let me develop my ears so I can hear you. Yeah. And you cure my deafness. With your sweet voice of love. Yeah. 
desiring your mercy, I have offered this bouquet of lamentations, which contains a forest fire of this maidservant's endless anguish to your lotus feet. Anigunas is a forest fire. I think for the Guna, I was, I was in forest fire and I am worried that I am not influenced by the Maya Shakti of Krishna and again go back in Gunas. Yes, I want to embrace my service to my pranaya shalini, the abode of pure love. That's my truth. I want to know your heart and lovingly serve you accordingly. Your heart is how you want to serve Mohan, right? So I want to know you so closely that I can serve you even before you ask me. Yeah. then I will be very useful for you, Swamini, because sometimes you forget yourself. Yeah. <laughs> this is also like in the material world. If we have very close family members like this, for example, the father, the son knows exactly how the father likes his coffee. There is no need to ask you with sugar or without or with milk or without. This is only a simple. But it is like this. No? It's same. It's natural. So we also automatically, we know because we know her, we know what she likes, uh, which, which food she like, which flowers with colors, everything what she prefer, we know. There is no need to ask. Yeah. You too. This is closeness, no? Yeah. This is Sarah with the feelings of you. Feelings of Pranay, Gurudev, of this Vishramba Seva. This means very confidential feelings of oneness. Yeah. And this oneness, of course, is the mercy of, of Shemati, of, of, of Swamini. So here, yeah, if you see vegan consciousness, not working. <laughs> <laughs> vegan consciousness is a different consciousness. Yeah. Well, because I still think about my own body and my own health, but actually, if we come into the realm of pranaya shalini, we only. We are like flooded by her desires, and we have to be empty for this. Yeah. This is, a this is what you say, Gurudev. Even the Sattva Goon is a material concept. Yeah. So they mean they can make the world better in a Sattvic way, 
when uh, we, we make this concept, but it's still a part of the material world. It brings nothing to our spiritual, uh, uh, on our spiritual way. So more, involving, least, more involving in a material. Yeah, so we think we make the world better, this world, so that we can stay longer time here, <laughs> more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> like this, no? So one is devotion. Yeah. One is satic way. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Both are good. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> but one will be controlled by ego, ego and senses and gunas, and one is out of them. Depends mm. upon. Right? Yes. I want to know your heart and lovingly serve you accordingly. But not any ordinary maid servant, but one who can enter into the solitary kunj unhindered to perform the most intimate services. Yeah. At that time, you and Shia will consider me to be the embodiment of your loving ecstasy. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So how can I be so close to you that in the time of your meeting with your beloved, this, this person here will be so much close to you that you don't even consider me different from you. You will feel that there is some ecstatic feeling that is, you know, our feeling. It's like a feeling that has been, you know, transformed into a transcendental person, transcendental body. It's beyond bodies even at that point. Because Radha and Krishna, when they come together, they become one. Wow. So these are the high desires, Gurudev, of Raghunath Das Goswami or Tulsi Manjari and praying, O oh, Pranaya Shalini, your heart melts out of endless compassion. Please fulfill my desires. Yeah. You are compassion personified. You are feeling. You are love. You are a melted heart in a person. So please hear my lamentations and accept me as your own. It is as if Swamini then reveals herself and tells Tulsi. Oh Tulasi, what you ah, say? Like? Mi è saltata completamente la connessione, ho dovuto ricollegarmi di nuovo. Ma adesso mi sentite? Sì, sì, ah, eh, ma do I think the mic is on. <laughs> ah. So Swamini is like revealing herself and telling her maidservant, Tulasi, what you desire is very difficult to attain. 
She's like playing hide and seek here. And then what does the maidservant say? It is also very remarkable. Ha, ah, Swamini, if I am not qualified for your service, then leave it. Don't give it. You may keep me in this ocean of sorrow or in any other condition, but I will just offer this bouquet of lamentations to your lotus feet, weeping and weeping. That is mature, Gurudev. Uh, this is much. Not I giving will, up. I will never leave you. And I will cry only for you. You, no gunas cry. Not in gunas I will cry. Not to cry for my material things. Only for you. Only cry from my sarup to you. I will try to be in my sarup. Only for you, when you will accept me. You are not accepting me because I have many unqualifications. Still, my mind is going in gunas. Still, my mind is going in many, many desires, still many things are there, so you are not accepting. But I will give lamentation, a bouquet to you. One day I will come out by your grace, not by my efforts, from these things. And only you, only you and your dasi, Will be there. Ma. So beautiful. <clears throat> Gurudev, and I don't cry for me. I cry because of you, Swamini. Because I can see there is so much service to do, and no one can do it if I don't do it. <laughs> No. <laughs> you could be so happy. <laughs> you need me. You need me. So and I, but you don't see that you need me so much. <laughs> and so I cry because you don't understand this. <laughs> so you need me. If I have any mistake, you have to improve me. <laughs> So you have to change my bad habits. Oh. Where I will stay, who will change me? I cannot do it myself. I am very stuck I and blocked. I love to change my. I have so much in the material suffering from so many life. Only this was my practice to be in gunas. Please stick out me. This time, only one hope that you can remove my this suffering. Please, you also need me. I also you need you. In this way, Tulasi serves Swamini by lovingly stringing these flower like lamentations into a garland. With their minds, the practicing Raganuga devotees should see the pictures of deep devotional love 
that were drawn in by this maidservant that is suffering the pangs of separation from Swamini day and night. So it is so beautiful that Tulsi Manjari is drawing pictures for us, for these immature aspiring Dasis. Pictures of devotional love. She is painting with her words, with her bouquet of lamentation. And if my mind becomes empty and ready to go into chitta vritti, to go into the pure consciousness of receiving, then these pictures will come automatically by themselves. Yeah. These emotions will arise also in the heart of a fortunate devotee who remembers these pangs of separation. This ocean of suffering and separation is so vast and so deep that ordinary persons cannot possibly enter into it. Anyone who surrenders to Tulasi Manjari's lotus feet and has seen even one tiny wave of this turbulent ocean of love in separation within his mind's eyes can understand that this cannot occur in ordinary people. Yeah. This is about developing the inner eyes. The inner eyes come by the mercy of, of Manjaris who have these eyes. They yeah. see with the hearts. And they can feel by looking. So these qualities are coming by association. Yeah. Any other comments on this? Anyone who surrenders to Tulasi Manjari's lotus feet and has seen even one tiny wave of this turbulent ocean of love in separation with his mind's eyes can understand that this cannot occur in ordinary people. His mind's eyes the eyes of the inner heart will slowly but surely perceive the picture of Shigoda Sundara absorbed in Sri Radha's ecstasy of love in separation in the Gambhira cell at Nilachalapuri.
the following heart-rendering, pitiful tune of lamentation, of separation, will resound from the twanging vena of his heart. Where shall I go? What shall I do to get Rajendra Nandana? Where is the flute playing lord of my life? Whom shall I tell? Who will know my distress? <coughs> Without Rajendra Nandana, my heart breaks. So here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is fully in Radha Bhav. Fully absorbed in the feelings of Swamini, preparing us to become her servant, her Dasi. Really, I thank you, Gurudev, that you have opened my eyes. I feel I was so blind and so ignorant. For so many years, I saw Chaitanya as Krishna. By your mercy, you have opened my blind eyes and my dull heart and consciousness that I can now feel Shrimati Radhika in Chaitanya. Yeah. Yeah. And I cannot say how much happiness this gives to the heart to such a relief that I understand now some feelings in my own conditioned way. But like you say, please, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, please, all Vaishnavas, please, Swamini, help me to come out of this darkness more and more, to feel how you feel and to serve as you like me to serve. You will see all books will be crystal clear to you because you connected with the source. Mango tree. Because Krishna can understand without, with, not without Alladini Shakti himself. Even the Lord cannot understand himself without his inner potency. Yes. Bhagavad Gita 10 15. <laughs> yeah. So, how I will understand Krishna without her? So, it was difficult to understand the books. Now you see the books. Same person, from now it will be different. This is the beauty. This is the mercy help of realization. Because you accept and you feel that this is the only way and this is the right way. A sign. Rupa says, when your sign is, then your second chapter is done. Your divine vision comes to you to go more deep. Uh, 
Where shall I go? What shall I do to get Rajendra Nandana? Oh, Swamini, now you need me. I can go out and look for you. Where is the flute playing lord of my life? Whom shall I tell? Who will know of my distress? Without Rajendra Nandana, my heart breaks. Usually a benediction of Fala Shruti is granted at the end of a prayer. But here there is no need for such a benediction. The prayer is his own benediction. Wow. Mm. Sri Raghunath's voice chokes as he speaks and he faints. So here we can feel or try to feel the deep intensity of Raghunathas desire and yeah. eagerness, one pointedness, surrender, full Atmani Vedanam, full, 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 no own interests anymore. Is this fire of separation extinguished by weeping? Is a question. Raghunath did attain the service of Srimati Radhika as a result of serving Sri Radha Kund. Yeah. The reddish sunrise of aspiration begins to glow on the eastern horizon of the sky of his fortune, removing the dense darkness of the new moon night of his love in separation. Yeah. Wow, so much poetry, poetry good. If who can write like this if it's not a manjari? Yes. I will read this again, Lord, if it's such a beautiful sentence. Who okay. came? From his turn came and give the garden a Prabhupada. Oh, Radhe <laughs> Radhe, this is a very yeah, auspicious yeah, yeah. sign. <laughs> Dhanavads, Dhanavads. You see the Prabhupada love? Wow, so beautiful. Wow. You always got his mercy, Gurudev. He embraced you, empowered you. Always his mercy, I feel. And I understand the words what he writes. By his grace. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sharing it. The reddish sunrise of aspiration begins to glow on the eastern horizon of the sky of his fortune, removing the dense darkness of the new moon night of his love in separation. 
Wow. His uh, separation mood is compared to the new moon night. In the new moon night, it is very dark. It's the darkest night of the whole month when the moon is not to be seen. And on the horizon, on the eastern uh, horizon. horizon, the sun is rising of his good fortune, means that something is going to enlighten him now. When the in separation, darkness comes, and we cry for in this separation. Then my darkness remove when I see her, the sun rise. I'm looking because now I can see my son. And I am living. That darkness is gone inside me. What was influence and suffering? She removed that. So I can see. I can be in service. I can see divine couple and I can serve. Read again this time. The reddish sunrise of aspiration begins yeah, to glow. Asp aspiration, feelings. In her seva, service, yeah. no? Yeah, that is sunrise. The sunrise has come. In the sky of his fortune, in the lucky sky, removing the dense darkness of the new moon night of his love in separation. Wow. A new moon in my life coming. Mm. I, then I can feel it. Love is there, only there in divine couple. And they separate to increase the love. So this increasing of love is separation giving. So our Gaudiya Siddhant based on separation. Why? Because this separation increase my love. Because love is there. Intimacy is there. And in love, if the separation is not there, then intimacy not grow. That is the nature of love. Jai Ho In separation, love grows fonder. <coughs> Separation, I feel, but that separation is also me. And when I meet, and then I feel separation with together, Radharani is feeling the separation that I have to go. In half an hour, she starts feeling separation. Mm. Prema Vajitya. Yeah. So in meeting is separation. And in separation, there is meeting. This is moonrise. The more deep when we go, we see that. Suddenly, all the ten directions are gladdened by Shishi Radha Mohan's sweet bodily fragrance. So they come first with their smell, with the fragrance. So 
Swamini has come, taking her Prana Balaba with her. Srila Das Goswami, Raghunath Goswami smells their sweet bodily fragrance and beholds their sweet golden and bluish forms that illuminate the bank of Sri Radha Kund. Sri Radha. The divine jewels of Sri Raghunath's fortune, Sri Sri Radha Mohan are standing before him now. How many streams of merciful tears trickle from their beautiful eyes. How sweet are their voices. By smelling the honey sweet fragrance, Sri Raghunath comes back to life. Swamini says, look, Tulasi, look, I have come. Tulasi's heart's desires have been fulfilled. Swamini stands before her with her prana nod. Mercifully, she takes Tulasi by the hand and embraces her, thus accepting her as her maidservant. Yeah. This is the end of her lamentation. <laughs> you see, Narayan Maharaj always would sell greed with you. What is the Lobha? He is Lobha to become Radha Das. This is Lobha. No? So him fifteen, uh, twelve, ten, fifteen. Yeah. They make the contract by embracing Gurudev. Yeah. <laughs> there is no no scripture, nothing. No. Uh, only love. Tulasi's heart's desire have been fulfilled. Mercifully, Swamini takes Tulsi by the hand and embracing her, thus wow. accepting her as her maid servant. Raghunath had his desires to fulfill. His vine like body that was burning in the great fire of separation is now showered by the stream of the divine couple's eternal blissful meeting in the Kundra abode. Yeah. Gora Lila is also eternal and Sri Raghunath Das is Mahaprabhu's eternal associate. Yeah. Fortunate souls can hear Srila Raghunathas weeping even now in the form of a practicing devotee. Ah. Here he eternally relishes the sweetness of separation from Swamini, lamenting and lamenting. Yeah. 
at night when all is silent. Shiladagona Das Goswami's pitiful lamentations of separation can still be heard on the bank of Sri Radhakund. O Pranaya Shalini, abode of pure love, thus I am loudly crying, desiring to attain your mature loving service, holding your lotus feet to my heart, which is burning out of intense agony. I am offering these lamentations to them as a bouquet of flowers. May they be the cause of even the slightest satisfaction to you. This is Suniti's bouquet <laughs> of flowers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she is yeah. Uh, now the garden is full of flowers. Yeah. She offers every day beautiful roses, different kinds, different colors. She is a very good gardener. You have to help me, Gurudev. <laughs> no, it's just... So, any comments of the Rasika listeners? You have yes. been so quiet today, I would like to hear. Gopinath, please. Jai Ho. Well, actually, it's just uh, sitting next to Gurudev. So one strong uh, feeling came. I just wanted to hear um, what Gurudev um, would say on that. Is that in the entire Vilapkusumanjali, Raghunath Goswami calls Radha Rani with many different names, right? But why is he calling her now in the last, in the culmination? of this bouquet of lamentation, why is he calling her Pranay Shalini? So that feeling was there to meditate why, why he's calling her this. And Sunitididi very beautifully explained together with Dora that to become her Dasi, we have to become very close and intimate and understand her nature, her Swabhav, very, very, Precisely, and pranaya, as Sunidhi explained, means that the feelings become so identical between her and her prananat. Pranaya also in, in contains the word pran, the life air. So to be a dasi, we need to understand her innermost desires and feelings. So I felt the Dragonata Swami is calling her pranaya means that he understood the deepest, the deepest, deepest feeling of her loving exchange with her beloved. And the other word, Shalini, which also means um, modest, com 
compassionate, sensible, also intelligent. So these qualities are very important. I felt if we want to be in the footsteps of Raghunath Das Goswami, we have to absorb these qualities, internalize these qualities, to be modest, sensitive, compassionate like her, but also intelligent. So I don't know, this feeling came uh, when listening to the event. And I felt that Raghunath Das Goswami in, in, in these 104 verses is showing us the path to become a Radha Dasi is not straightforward, right? There are many, 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 you know, there are many different uh, tracks to take if we, and that she accepts us, you know, he's showing us what it really needs and Guru Dev mentioned it already. It needs this one pointed desire to be only for her, you know, that she needs me as Gora also said, no, like, you know, you also need me. You are so, there's so much service and you need me to be there for you. So in all this time, Raghunath, I felt is always being tested, you know, like he's tested in his Sadak Deha when the vision disappears, when his life's errors are choking, he's being tested. But also as Tulsi Manjuri, he's also being tested. Even rebuked one time, Brother Rani got upset and kicks her out of the Kunja, right? So all these tests are showing us that, okay, you know, we have to be also patient. This is also a process, you know, like we have to enter this path in the guidance of Guru Manjuri, you know, we have to not to be rushing. We have to really follow her, how she's doing. We have to really meditate on our Guru Manjuri in each and every step. And um, the last, last feeling which came when Smriti was reading about separation and Gurudev was saying that, you know, the, the love in separation. And I was thinking like, actually, in separate, when, we, when one is in Swarupa Vish, then one is with Radharani. But when one is in separation, when he comes out, Raghunath Goswami, what does he do? He only meditates on her. He only meditates on the divine pastimes. So I felt that's a very, very good way for me to, for us to meditate. When we are not out, we should immediately meditate to come back in, right? So this, this moment of separation is also very important because that shows us where is my, my desire. When I'm out, is my desire going, you know, into more the material or can I immediately go back and meditate on the, on the Leelas, you know? So the separation is also an important moment, I felt, you know, when we are like, Smriti Didi said, when we wake up in the night, I cannot dream of you in the night, but at least in the morning when I wake up, and please, you know, I'm feeling the separation, but let me meditate, let me immediately go in, you know, so the, this separation moment is so precious, actually. It's not about my suffering that, oh, I'm not with her, it's not, oh my God, I have the chance to immediately meditate on her again, you know. So I was felt very, that was beautiful now. Thank you, Suniti Didi, for choosing this verse and, and, and Laura and, and all the devotees for, you know, having this opportunity now to be here and listen. And so Guru, what what you say about Pranay Shalini? Pranayam is always mad in loving action. Pranay. This is all one word, love. Yeah. Anurag, Rag, Anurag, and Pranay. When the Rag and Anurag is happening, then Pranay is the exchange of love is going on. Pranay Shalini, she is the reason to give the happiness to Krishna. She is. As Krishna knows himself because she is to us. Krishna himself not know what he is when she not so to Krishna. 
That's why he had to come as Mahatma. Yes. So, Pranay must always go show to his lover and to the Dasi, always she is giving love and mercy. This is always Pranay Sahib. Joking, loving, caring. This is her nature. So in in this nature come to the devotees, they are natural Radha Das. First nature comes. When nature changes, then self comes. You see it is nature first change. Love it comes. Love will come then my saru is there. It's my behavior will change. You know? I will not vlog in gunas and then saru easy to move. When I block in gunas and false ego, then it's a long way. Understand? Yeah, yeah, it's the other. Oh, Jananda Maharaj will share something. He's on the deep meditation. So, so Gopinath Bhaiya explained very nicely, and Gurudev also explained very nicely. Kuranaya Sharini. My understanding also same. I don't know, maybe I say same thing, but maybe a little bit different way. <coughs> Kuranaya means lover and beloved feels oneness. Even touching, Krishna's, Krishna touching Radha's body, but Radha thinking not Krishna's hand, or oh, this is my hand. This is pranaya. It is a pranaya. So I was thinking this pranaya means radharani and radhadashi also oneness. Like shadow. Radharani could not discriminate. This is this is my you know like my body or a shadow. That kind of always oneness in the mind. So if we attain in that situation. Radha's feeling and Manjari's feeling is same, <clears throat> and then we we could do attend like Raghuna Das Goswami. And also, I this is Suniti Didi leading the reddish sunrise of aspiration begins to grow on the eastern horizon of the sky of his fortune. Removing the dense darkness of the new moon night of his loving in separation. Maybe I'm wrong, but I immediately this sunrise, sun, Radharani comes from Sun Dynasty. Mm -hmm. So this sunrise means Radharani appear. This new moon, Krishna comes from Moon Dynasty. So I was thinking this kind of uh, Darkness is false ego. Mm -hmm. So if we from false ego and then due to our love in separation and Radharani appear. And also I remember this Oragomina Swami Maharaj used to used to talk, used to say, I'm open crying school. Here is weeping school or oh, in loving separation. So Ragnata does <coughs> show us this uh, how how our sadaka could attain the same same position like Ragnata Goswami due to this so much greed. Loving separation means so much so much for the say. We, he cannot think anything than Radharani Swamini. 
be always thinking of rather than any. Whatever position, your condition. <clears throat> One point. One pointed. And also, this interesting, this uh, uh, Anantata Baba said, his mind's eye will slowly but surely perceive the picture of Sri Gora Sundara, absorbed in Sri Radha's ecstasy of love in separation in Gambira Sel and Nirachara. So, this loving separation, which Ragnar does, you are Manjari uh, desire Radha. And also, this Gora Sundara, Radha's mood, and desire go, uh, Krish, uh, Mohan. This is uh, Anantas Baba mentioned this verse. Where shall I go? What shall I do to get Brajendra Nandara? Why is the fruit playing road of my life? Whom shall I tell? Who will know of my distress? Without Brajendra Nandara, my heart play. So Ragnatas mind, feeling completely oneness with Sri Radha. And uh, so immediately he could understand Radha's feeling. So this Gora Lira and uh, Radha Mohan Lira is very much connected. It's very very interesting. Can I add something to Anandaji? Sure. I, I was actually thinking of, in a very similar way. That Radhe, Radhe, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I feel compassion for our Spanish devotees. They cannot hear any translation because uh, the speaker, the translator, unmute himself and we cannot write to him. He cannot see or read. So perhaps you can say it loud that Carlos can hear it. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I didn't get this. No, no, it, no it works. Yeah, um, I was feeling that actually one could say that Mahaprabhu is the embodiment of Pranaysha because he's experiencing that oneness, right, Janandaji? Yes. His experience in his all his symptoms are in, in that how and he at the same time is giving it in his compassionate, loving way. So when we we're reading now with Guru the, the last days, this verses on Bhagavad Gita where he was saying that he cannot know himself without his inner potency. That means he had to come as Mahaprabhu to understand fully what is happening in the Braja Lila. Because, and without Mahaprabhu, without Gaur Lila, we cannot understand Braja Lila. It's not possible for us. So as you said, Janak, it's, it's so connected, like the one feeds the other. And without Rajlila, how can we understand Mahaprabhu, right? So yes. it's like Gurudev explains always when he was in South America and he saw the river entering the ocean and then the ocean going back to the river. So this I felt like this is the Gore and Rajlila. They are meeting all the time, you know, and they're feeding each other with more feelings and more realizations. And this is the mercy of Gurudev that we can actually understand, you know, <laughs> through Mahaprabhu, 
we can understand Raja Leela and we can through reading Vilapu Sumanjali we can understand actually the mood of, of Goranga Mahaprabhu. I just wanted to actually add this. Radhe Radhe. May I add something to that? Sure. I also had very similar uh, thoughts like Jayananda and Kopina. And I feel that the last um, offerings of lamentations of Raghunath are culminating now in this uh, Pranaya Shayalini. Because actually this means you and I, we are one. It's one prana. It's not different. So now it's a fact. It cannot be in another way. So you can take me or not. But I will just go on and offer these prayers because now we are one no way back so take me or leave me and that's why he's also actually giving these prayers like chaitanya mahaprabhu because he's in the same mood you may accept me or not i am yours i'm your shadow that's it no other way now Are you saying what day we have to go? And the ocean diving now. This is diving now. By your mercy, Gurudev, we have become a little bit deeper. <laughs> you are our diving, it's diving the deepest, Darcy. <laughs> you all are diving, giving me chance to dive. <laughs> and now uh, together, Gurudev, we are holding you and bringing you more deeper. <laughs> by your all of your association, I am feeling fortunate. We are lucky, good if when you are satisfied, then this is a good sign. No, and we are then darkness has gone. Every day is Sunday, but not political. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.